A new species of long-necked dinosaur was discovered by Canadian paleontologists from bones discovered in central China, according to the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology. Dubbed the Kijiang Long Dragon of Kujang, the sauropod has a neck that measures 25 feet long, virtually half of its body length. As far as I know, there are no more bones in the field of this dinosaur, said team leader Philip Curry of the University of Alberta. Discovered by construction workers at a site near Kujang City in 2006, the dinosaur is about 50 feet long and thrived in the late Jurassic period. Researchers digging at the site found its head and neck still together, the rare occurrence due to the small cranium often detaching easily after the creature's death. Though the researchers had the bones cast and even went as far as mounting the cast skeleton in a museum, they had no idea that they'd uncovered a new species. It had already been collected, prepared and was laid out on tables, Curry told FoxNews.com. This region of China has lots of dinosaur fossils, including skeletons, gonads and footprints. The preservation is quite nice, and we were asked to help describe it. The Kijiang Long is a Mamanchai sorehead that lived in China 160 million years ago. While most pseudopod necks only make up a third of their body length, Mamanchai sore necks can reach up to half, with the largest known specimen's collar extending 59 feet. However, unlike other Mamanchai soreheads, the Kijiang Long's neck vertebrae is filled with air, making it a much lighter load to carry. Its interlocking joints showed that the creature moved its neck with more ease horizontally rather than sideways, enabling it to eat from extremely tall trees in movements similar to a construction crane. The giant herbivores were also mostly immune to attacks from carnivorous dinosaurs due to their size, though that's not to say they were completely invincible. I suspect that once they were mature, they were probably immune to the attacks of predators the way elephants are today, Curry says. However, like elephants which are hunted in some parts of Africa by large prides of lions, they were probably never completely immune to attack. And as juveniles, there is some evidence to suggest that the adults stayed with and protected them. While long-necked dinosaurs did thrive in other parts of the world, Mamanchai soreheads were indigenous to China for reasons still unknown. According to Curry, Mamanchai sore sauropods are so far only known from China, but they do have close relatives all over the world. I assume that Mamanchai sores evolved in that part of the world, but were unable to spread to other continents because China was rather isolated at that time. Some researchers believe that Mamanchai sores were unable to migrate due to the sea barrier, and lost in competition when invading species arrived once the land connection was restored. Curry and his team named it the Dragon of Kujang due to its similarity to the mythical long necked Chinese dragon. In a statement, doctoral student and team member Tetsutomi Yachita revealed, I wondered if the ancient Chinese stumbled upon the skeleton of a long necked dinosaur like Kiji Bong Long and pictured that mythical creature. He might not be far off. In 300 BC, the historian Chong Q documented discovering dragon bones in Sichuan, which Kujang is a province of.